So just finished a fairly complicated two shoot. One was an invisible man shoot, one was a Halloween pumpkin shoot. The Halloween pumpkin one actually required eight lights. I know a lot of you always like um, gripe a little bit about the amount of lights, but sometimes it's absolutely necessary. I mean, let's just give you, this was the light shining through the pumpkin to create the orange glow. We cut a hole in the back, we gelled it, orange gel, diffusion inside. <laughs> These two lights on this scrim roll were for the pumpkin itself and also for the products in the pumpkin. This was an edge light on the back of the pumpkin. This blue gelled light was for a blue glow on the edge of the pumpkin and another one from this little Fresnel. And then this top light was to create a pool of light and a little bit of a shadow. And then the good old bronze color fluter on the background, giving me my background glow. So they're all absolutely necessary and they're all absolutely necessary because building the lighting up through the process, I'm looking at the light, looking at the contours and the pumpkin, looking at how I'm going to make it more three dimensional, looking how I'm going to create the right atmosphere. So it's that additional one light at a time, building up, building up, and it ended up at eight lights. Could have ended up at four, could have ended up at six, could have ended up at 12. It's just going to go wherever it needs to go until it feels right, basically. The um, Invisible Man one was a lot, lot simpler. Background light on the fluter, top light 3560 softbox on the uh, bowler hat, and a Para 133 from the front on, uh, on the uh, mannequin and suit. So that one was a lot simpler lighting setup. Stephanie's got a boyfriend for today. <laughs> this is our mannequin, and we've had to borrow a male one. So, yeah, she's got a bit of a cheeky smile on her face. <laughs> <laughs>